It was a big day out in California Where old Stu Ball said he was born Said all the jockeys that said that Stu Ball That he came there, came there on a storm I, I was just thinking about your sound and I wondered if you felt like there's a particular city that is maybe to you like most evocative of, of the style of music you're playing and if Nashville fit into that at all. Well, it's surprising. Um, the first guitar player I had when I moved to Nashville played a, um, a Fender, Fender Stratocaster. And that's that dry, kind of honky-tonk Fender sound is very Nashville. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know, we, we take a lot more from the mountains. It seems like I'm inspired, you know, I was born in the mountains up north and, and inspired by banjos and fiddles. And that seems to be, this area seems to be the Taj Mahal of, of mountain music. Yeah, yeah. Not so many mountains in Nashville. No, a lot of nice rivers though. <laughs> and all those rivers lead to New Orleans and we definitely draw from the New Orleans style of Dixieland and yeah. improv. Yeah. You can bet on Stuball, cause you might win, win, win. You can bet on Stuball, cause you might win. You can bet on Stuball, cause you might win. You can bet on Stuball, cause you might win. So what prompted your move from Asheville to Nashville? Um, I had some changeover with uh, band members mm -hmm. and um, I don't know, I had just been given a 30-foot RV that I had parked in, in my driveway in Asheville and my house was kind of uh, tumultuous, if that's a word. There it was a, <laughs> a lot of bands coming through and I just decided that I was going to drive my RV to Nashville and I drove it across Tennessee and I just kept it there, and I'm still living in it. <laughs> so I'm kind of camping in Nashville <laughs> right now. So does that mean you're not maybe an official resident? You're like you could leave at any time. I got a post office box, but I I am definitely on wheels. So I'm uh, <laughs> still mobile. Nice. If I was ever outdoors without my walking stick, it would be something that I can't explain. The only thing that makes me glad on a lover's lane. Will not be cut outdoors without my cane. I'll play that old kazoo. Mm -hmm. So one really cool connection that's come out of that move, though, is um, signing with Muddy Roots Music. And I was wondering if you could just talk a little bit about what you're doing with them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of a dream come true. It's a real small label, um, but they also run a bunch of festivals, uh, Nashville Boogie, Muddy Roots in Cookville, mm -hmm. and um, we just spent a week recording, six days recording in a great studio in Nashville. Nice. So we're real excited. It's all on old equipment, used old uh, audio, uh, the old Neve board, which is in Sound City. Mm -hmm. A lot of people know that board, and it's coming out on vinyl. Um, which is a dream come true. Yeah. I've been trying to do vinyl forever, it seems like, but finally, that's one of the things our label uh, prides itself on, is making really cool uh, records and also doing singles and split seven inches and things like that. Right, right. So when will that be out? Um, it's going to be out in the UK in March and mm -hmm. uh, in the States in April. All right. So if we go to the UK, we can get it earlier. But yeah, <laughs> come with us to the UK. We'll be there for three weeks in March and... Um, uh, we're looking forward to dragging vinyl around, that's for sure. <laughs> Suitcase is full of vinyl. If I was ever outdoors without my walking stick, it would be something that I can't explain. The only thing that makes me glad on a lover's lane will not be caught outdoors without my cane. 